Selling your home can be an emotional and stressful process. But did you know that renovating your house before selling might not be always the best decision? In this video, we'll explore five important situations where skipping the renovations can actually save you time and money. Whether you're short on time, cash, or just unsure about your return on investment, this video will help you make the right choice. Trust me, this could save you a lot of stress, time, and money. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about real estate in Indianapolis and the surrounding areas, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications. My name is Susan Roberts with Homes by Roberts Realty brokered by eXp. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making a move and we absolutely love it. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information you need is in the description below. So we can help you make a smooth move. When we sell our homes, we worry about who we're going to sell to and whether they'll appreciate its quirks the way we did, but we also want to make as much cash as possible from the sale. No one wants to think they left money on the table. That's why sellers are commonly advised to put some work into a house before selling. From simple paint jobs to larger remodeling projects, the theory is simple enough. A new updated house will sell faster than a dingy, broken down, as is house. It is easy to be seduced into investing large sums of money into a house you're leaving behind. But it doesn't always make sense. There are several instances where it's just not worth it to fix up your house before putting it up for sale. So let's dive in and take a look at those times when making home renovations before you sell might not be the smartest move on your part. First up, Let's talk about ROI. That's return on investment. The main reason homeowners consider renovating before selling is to boost the sale price. But here's the thing. Most renovations don't actually pay for themselves. If the ROI isn't over 100%, you might want to skip the project. Focus on projects that give you a higher ROI or simply sell as is. Secondly, if your home is in good condition with no major issues, don't rush into a remodel. If your plumbing, roof, and HVAC systems are all functioning well, there's really no need to fix up what isn't broken. Many buyers prefer to renovate according to their own tastes. And get this, more than 90% of buyers to some level of renovation after they move in. Now, let's talk about the real estate market. If you're in a seller's market where there are more buyers and homes available, you have the advantage in these situations. Buyers are willing to pay top dollar and you won't need to spend extra money on renovation. A quick way to figure this out is by checking how many houses sold in the last month compared to how many are on the market. Ask your agent, what the absorption rate is. That's exactly what it is. Ask them to explain it. Anyway, this statistic is the best way to measure the market. Sellers versus a buyer's market. Point number four, when you're short on time or cash, if you're in a hurry to sell, renovating your home might delay things. Remodels and renovations take time. If you need to sell your home quickly, it probably doesn't make sense to attempt them. If you need to sell fast because of, say, a job relocation or financial reasons, the last thing you want to add is delays. Plus, remember, partial renovations can actually make your home look less appealing if they're not finished well. Lastly, if your home is in really bad shape, like I'm talking almost unlivable here, it may not be worth renovating. It might seem somewhat counterintuitive, but if your current home is severely damaged and considered a teardown, it's almost certainly not worth it to fix up just to sell it. The investment of time and money to bring the house back to a livable state will almost certainly yield an ROI of less than 100%, way less. 
Selling a house in that condition will limit your potential buyers, of course. Most people won't be able to get mortgages for homes in very poor repair. So most offers will come from investors more interested in the land than in the structure. And repairs won't move the needle much for them and could in fact cause those investors to not consider your property. So there you have it. Five situations where it's smarter to skip the renovation and sell your house where is as is. Of course, every home and situation is different, but these tips should give you a good idea of when you can save yourself the hassle. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.